Hello and welcome back, or welcome to, because this is a brand new Let's Play. I'm doing this from a slightly different perspective. This is a storyline. I have, I will notice I'm in completely different garb because I'm in traveling garb. I am. I have traveled from America. Yes, I have just literally been at Westbridge Hills and yeah, I helped the family and I've just given them their farm back and I've literally, I'm back in Britain on terra firma. And this is a place called, it's an island, set in Ireland, and it's Maypole Farm. But, as you can see, I, well, in harmony with my story, I have, yeah, I have absolutely not a penny to my name. I've been dropped off. Also, there has been a snafu. Actually, I've lost my papers. I have. I met a nice old gent in the, uh, well, in the train station from, who actually offered me a job in Maypole in Ireland basically where we are now he actually owns the local shop he does so I'm just gonna make my way just been dropped off um, well by the bus from the railway station there's no railway actually in Maypole but I presume this place is called Maypole itself I or is it? This is true. It's it's a yeah. I, I only know it's Maple Farm. That's that's what I was told. So yes, I will take you. No, let's just make sure I am going the right way. I am indeed. Yes. So I am penniless, and I am at the whim. I have been told by my patron, yeah, Tom, the shop owner, that literally there is work in the local area. It is. I'm not going to bog you down with. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to try to. This is done from a human perspective, not my normal rules of engagements. Because yeah, we are at the whim of the contracts. Any local work that we can do, we don't own anything. But yeah, when I say that, obviously, I, th my employer owns the shop square. That's the only square you'll see. Also, game mechanics wise. Yeah, the shop does have a telehandler. Yes, and two tools. They are mine, but they're not mine, if you know what I mean. They are Tom's, but yeah, as we know game mechanics, I've got, it's got to appear in my, my garage, so. But they aren't mine. That doesn't mean to say Tom won't let me borrow them, of course, as things progress, if they progress, if I ever earn any money and get off this. Now, this is Maple Farm. And for anybody knowing Maple Farm may actually think, well, there's a few things slightly different about this. The shop front seems to be a few trees missing. And I would say to those people, you might well be correct. This is true. Yes, there may have been some uh, local developers in here making a few little changes to the place. Absolutely, that's right. Yeah, Tom is a benevolent, very nice chap. I say he's put me into uh, touch with uh, all the local farmers. Yeah, and I'm looking for. Well, yeah, that's. Yeah, he's, I'm, yeah, literally looking for work. So, yeah, I haven't got a penny to my name, so I won't be doing anything. But yeah, this is the patch of land that, that, obviously, if you look closely where the arrow is, where I am now, this is the patch of land which, yeah, is owned by the shop. Yeah, Tom leases all of the, the ground that we're on, so he doesn't own the businesses, well he owns the shop, but he doesn't own these ones, he just owns the land that it's all on, so yes, Tom's the one I need to talk to if we're ever going to like, yeah, put things of our own on, if we ever get that far into this let's play. So yeah, I'm not going to belabor this because I think it's fairly obvious where the rules of engagement are. Yeah, we have a local contractor. Yeah, and this particular contract is 30% off. Yeah, I, I believe made by a company called Mad or Mantrit. Yeah, I believe that is correct. Absolutely. Wink, wink. Right. So then, yes. What is cooking? You could say. Now I'm going to be sleeping at Tom's place, which. Uh, 
between us using the Sleep Anywhere mod because I haven't got a place of to call my own. I will be changing into my normal guard that you're probably used to seeing, but I thought it was in character to actually use the wardrobe for once. And actually, it is amazing, actually. It's the same face that I always wear, the same hair, but I look completely different in this getup. But it is still in load me. It is, absolutely. Right, so then. Now then, let us look at what contracts are available and it is August, so yes. Oh, okay. Is it August? It is August. Oh, amazing. Okay, well, I think we... I reckon we will. Bail and we... I reckon we're going to take that. Field 53, we will indeed... I will have to borrow items. And ooh, nearly landed on my head. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I should be going to enjoy this. Well, normally my rules of engagement, I literally just explain the rules of engagement. But hey ho, it's I'm quite surprised at that. To get bailing contracts in August, it's usually boring stuff. But hey ho, right. Well, we're just going to get stuck in then, I believe. Yeah. Obviously, I would like to. Um, Tom is a very nice chap. I would like to obviously get more of a presence. I don't even know where we're going to, so let's have a check. All I've done is I will show you briefly in harmony with what I normally do. And I have played 57 minutes. That is preparation for the storyline. Yes. Trees. Oh, why is that not showing tree? Ah. If you use the tree be gone, it doesn't class as trees go down. Okay, well, 53, where are we? That's what I was going in the menu for. So, 53, whereabouts are you? Can't see. Oh, my life. As far away. We need to be going left. Now then. This is presents a challenge because obviously it's there's no workers. I haven't got any money, so yeah, it's just little old me. With one tool at a time, going down there and coming back and taking another set of tools up. So I am gonna time lapse this my usual Yeah, for if we've got a lot to do. So yeah, this is this is the first contract to step start our ball rolling and hopefully get us established in the local area yeah there's a hopefully going to be a few twists and turns I've got a few ideas but I'm going to keep my cards close to my chest I may shock you <laughs> now then I believe is this not where no it's not this one it's the next one right so I am going to say my words yeah it is a storyline that we have absolutely no money none at all I have I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve that I'm gonna play. A couple of ace cards you should but there's no cheating, absolutely no cheating. There is not. Whether you think what I'm gonna do in a bit is cheating is another matter, but it is only using my head. It is. And using what the map makers kindly provided. Yeah. Now the Mantrid contract I did purchase with the original money that was mine and I then blew the rest. Yeah, it's so that the storyline is that I'm set at zero. We've got, yeah, it's, it's, it is a normal economy. I was going to do it hard and I thought, no, let's let's not go. I, I may do a hard economy again. I have done them on FS22, but this, I just thought we'll build up to it. Right, it's indicates. Yeah, this is difficult enough. It's right. Yeah, Cavalier Roy again. This is the river. I always get mixed up. Riverview, Riverside. I think it's Riverside. I these do a cracky job on this and like. I love that the fact you can chop the things off and adapt your fields. I I do like that. And it's a British map. I haven't had. Yeah, to be honest, I've got green. My word brain is bad. I can't agree. Yeah. That one. <laughs> that's the uh, British, that's the way I've got at the minute. Green fields. That's the one. Yes. Yeah, very, very well established. And I, I thought I'd like to do something that's a little bit more. Start from scratchy again. Yeah. This. 
it's not going to be a nuclear, it will become a full-fledged, but I'm not, this is my, yeah, the other ones are fu fully established. I did actually go on Hobo's Hollow, and I had a game crash, spectacular, and I thought, you know, I really do feel like doing something a little different. So, here we are. Yeah, it's, I did have a look at this earlier, I was looking for a map, a British map, there aren't that many, actually, funny enough, yeah, since uh, Carmstead, there's not, yeah, there's Riverside... Born, born, born Heath, sorry, Born Heath. Yeah, there's a few. And then where do I get to? Is he off here? Let's have a look. Where are we? Not a bad guess, Mr. Smith. I'm not sure whether you should have taken a. I might be able to get here though. I'm not sure this is the right. How do we get to that? It looks like we should have taken a turn a little while ago, actually. Right, no, that's not the right way. This is going to be a bit of fun. Good job we're in such a fantastic tractor, I think. Now, I'm not being nasty to you, but, yeah, I can't go. So then, I do I go. This looks like another farm. No, this is the main farm. There's quite a few farms on here. This is the main farm. Ah, this is the pig farm one, isn't it? Right, yeah, I have no idea where I'm going, but I know I'm roughly in the right direction. And this is a forge of discovery. I think we're headed in the right direction, actually, I think. More by look than judgment. Hey, smashing. Absolutely ace, yes, we are on the way. Right, I am going to say my words. Yeah, we are very close to being there then. We're going to get this caught. Now then, that is point. What are we doing? Let's have a look at... What is this? It is... Bale and wrap it so we can... Do this into... We don't want widespread spreading then, do we? We want... Let's see for once if I can actually remember how to do the swath dropping. Yes! For once we did it. Let's pull those up again just to get through. Right, yes, I'm going into time lapse. I am going to say my words. I will see you guys and gals on the other side.
I'm going to say this before I get there. I seriously think this has gone wrong. I, uh, I've done a lot of bailing contracts and I've never known a bailing contract to go this close and it's nowhere near the amount that you would normally associate as finished. I also cut the headlands so there were three or four more bales than there should have been. I've never seen it this tight where you're on the last 12 bales. This would be the bit where you would expect to have completed it already and this would be your yeah your cut so the fact that I've nowhere near finished suggests to me something's gone wrong and that was a good 84 84 bales I'm sure it was 82 84 it was a lot so I, when I originally I thought, I thought 60 and then it was like 70, then I hit 77, then I hit 80, then I hit 82 and I'm sure in the end it was 80, 83 or 84, I'll check in editing but yeah I really have I'm not got a good feeling about this, as well as being flung in the air. <laughs> That was hilarious. That car just cut me up. I literally turned. It wasn't there, and it just carried on as they do do. And then I was flung in the air because you—they remove ball objects, aren't? They? What can you do? I didn't expect to be uh, thrown around like a rag doll, though. That is definitely yes. Yeah. So I'm not got a bad feeling about this. I just wanted to say that before it happens, I might be wrong, I hope I am, but I get a horrible feeling that this isn't going to complete. Yeah, thought so. <sighs> wow. Well, I've got to be honest, that's something wrong with that. There really is. We did. That's taken me real time, three and a half hours, um, yeah, for it not to work. So to say that I'm gutted is actually rather an understatement. Yeah, that's that is gutting. So not only do I have to say cancel, I've wasted three hours. So in a way, I've been robbed. There's no other way to say that because that's. I've been set up a contract. As I said, what makes it even worse is I got, on that last set. I thought I should have earned, I should have finished this already. It really shouldn't be like this. So do you know? This may be one of those recordings that never sees a light of day. This was. I was hoping this was going to be, but if it's not working right, if the contracts and that aren't completing properly, then I think. I may, yeah, it may not actually ever see the light of day, or it might be one of those that I put down as a blooper or a <laughs> an editor's go on something that never was because yeah this this is seems like a terrible bad idea now it really did i was I got plenty of ideas I had uh, got some good backup plans, but yeah, this is now I just feel like crying. <laughs> <laughs> because that's well that, that's not going to make any difference but now that was the point where I did think it had gone wrong was where the bales had to, they didn't actually yeah but, oh, oh, sorry I don't like doing that but yeah that one bale is not going to make a difference just for once. One percent! One bale is only one percent. Wow. That's terrible. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. I am. I'm absolutely gutted. It's, um, it should be 
not only completed but completed with flying colours and we should get a bonus instead of which I've been robbed by a farmer that's uh, obviously set his sights too high so yeah I'm gutted and if that's no I'm not going to slag anybody off I'm not it's just it is gutting and you tend to want to lash out but it is it is what it is but yeah, <laughs> this may be the first and last episode on Maypole because, yeah, this is just terrible. I really, I am absolutely gutted. I, I, I can't recall when that's ever happened, literally ever on FS22 right, actually, I can right back in the very, the beginning days when I don't think it Bales ever did though. I, obviously, we did have cereal crops. I remember I did an oats contract on Hobelleron and that didn't work. I don't think I've ever had a baling contract. And that was lush grass. And I caught a very generous headland, so I should be absolutely loaded now coming away from that. Instead of which, I've now got to cut loose after three and a half hours' work. Realistic? I don't think so. No. Right, yeah, well, this is me signing out. And I shall sleep on it and see what I'm going to do. So, yeah. <laughs> the same good that is an understatement. Right, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Just thought. Yeah, that, I'd like to see what this is going to take. I, this is, obviously, this has gone totally wrong anyway, but I'd like to see... Wow, that has so gone wrong. That's unbelievable. We just chucked about seven or eight other. That's, yeah, it, it is. Yeah, I'm good. I am, to say the least. And we've just bunged another seven or eight. Let's just see what this is going to take to do because this is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Why will that not spawn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. a laugh surely that's just I don't get that is that because they're not if there's other bales have we filled that really has gone awfully bad.
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gordon Bennett. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that was expecting 30, 84, 114 bales. That is crazy. That That is definitely so badly gone wrong. Right. Well, I don't class that as cheating because there's no way on earth you are ever going to get that amount of bales off that field. And it doesn't make me feel happy, but then the game mechanics were wrong. Uh, but it does scare me now to see is any other. Uh, can we do anything? Is this all going to be like this? I'm sort of scared to do another Bailey contract, right? Anyway, yeah, I am going to think on this, severely think on this, because this is, leaves a sour taste in my mouth when things don't work out right, and it makes you look like as if you are cheating, and there was no way I was going to do that, never. So I was set up for a fall from the very beginning, so, yeah, I mean, obviously the whole idea of playing this game is that there is, you can complete, that, yeah, I mean, obviously, I've gone the... Oh, do you know, I am. I'm gutted. I am. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I am. I am scooting. But I just, I thought I'd got to try to do something to see at what point it would have done that. So, that was ludicrous. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, I am going to say thank you very much for watching. And um, I'm not sure if there is going to be any more content on Maple or what I'm going to do at all. But I do hope you are going to continue on a journey with me on a let's play even if not on this let's play so yes thank you very much for watching and i'm going to say goodbye for now <laughs>